Hola and shalom. And if you're watching this on a Saturday, Shabbat Shalom. I'm Rebellia and we're back with some crash landing. Oh, uh, t we're starting off here not too long after we left on the last episode. I haven't really done anything extra. Um, so we're going to work a little more in this uh, um, under pressure category. So let's see, as an aside, at this point you might want to take some time to either manually farm or set up automation to get squid and lightning seeds. The final step requires a few of both. Oh dear. Alright, well I don't have anything really in Hmm. So we'll have to find a way to um, get squid to actually spawn. Um, how about we do a spot right here? So, one, two, three. And I think it's usually better to have it too deep. Why did I do that? Alright. Okay. So let's do that, and we'll grab our buckets here. Oh, um, I thought we would grab our buckets there. Okay, good, we got plenty of that going. And you know what, let's just take this out for a moment. And that way we can access this from the outside. Okay. Get rid of that, grab these. that'll make spit, the squid start spawning. Alright. So now while we're waiting on that... Okay. Well, at least this thing is uh, doing pretty good. Okay, we got a good empty PCB. Now I do know that one thing we need to do is make, um, I thought, ah, oh, there it is, there's the etching acid. I know we need to put this in a spot where we can throw stuff into it and then pick it up. So, I made some glowstone glass, which is really, really simple. Uh, okay, now it's not going to be short. Right, I'll show you the recipe. Uh, glowstone glass, right here. It's just thickened glass, and for glowstone, thickened glass is by um, smelting sandy glass, which is two sand and two regular glass. Um, okay, I'll go with the differences. It's the same thing. Anyway, but then uh, you can use these iron saws, which are really simple to make as well. Um, come on, there we go. You just need stone rods, um, which you use the tool rods, or you can, um, not the tool, you can use the tool rods, or you can use cobble and put it on top of each other like planks, and you'll make the rods. Anyway, it's three of those, uh, ironing it in two sticks is all that is. So, take this, and we put that underneath, and that will actually trim that down to being a glass cover, which gives us four of what we need. Um, so then what we can do is place it like so. I'm just going to go ahead and place it on all four sides. Then we should be able to jump up here just to be sure. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> Alright, we got to put it on the outside. Um, which means we might as well just use the three pieces. That, and then we can place it there. Okay, so then should be able to take this, just toss it. Okay, well, toss it into the etching acid, and it says it takes five minutes to do. We'll see what happens. Oops. 
was not what I meant to do. Okay. Now we don't want to walk into that, which is why I set that up that way, because it'll end up poisoning us. Still no squids, but then too we gotta get far enough away that they'll actually spawn, and I think they only spawn during the day anyway. Um so now while we're waiting for this to basically happen, uh, we do have a quest to claim here. Um, etching acid. Okay, yeah, we're doing that. I thought we already did this. Uh, yeah, we did this. So I guess this is a repeatable... Yeah, it's a repeatable quest. Okay. Alright, so... Moving on that, we do have a quest here that we can complete. Uh, copper sword, you know what, I'm gonna go with the anvil ammo, uh, ammo so that we can actually shoot it and get an anvil. And then uh, we've got this. Uh, we gotta kill a lot more skeletons, a few more creepers, and just a few more endermen. And then we can get another one of these sink cores. But actually, instead of these sink cores, ironically, I'm going to go with the machine frame. The machine frame is hard to make, um, and I think these sink cores are actually fairly simple once you get the hang of it. Um, but the machine frame requires the advanced version of those PCBs. Um, let's find out what the sink core requires. Yeah, see, this is pretty simple. It's just nether quartz. Um, Ender pearl, uh, some emeralds, and daylight sensors, which is really, really simple. So yeah, we're going to do that. Um, okay. Hunger is getting down, so I'll go ahead and eat this. All right now, I do remember last time I was talking about we were going to make a uh, killing area for the mobs. And I did actually make one. I want to make one on each side. But this is the first one that I made. Uh, I'm actually thinking about changing this out for some stone. But we have uh, the glowstone slabs here. And then we've got um, pillars. Now these are small enough that none of the mobs can get through. But it is low enough that they can actually climb on top of them. Um, I think they can, yeah, they can climb on anywhere. But, um... So we can hit them through here and through here. So this will be good. And I'm going to set up a vacuum hopper on two sides, probably at each corner, and lead it into a chest. And um, not sure exactly how I want to do that yet, but we will get it. I've already got a vacuum hopper made, and yeah, we'll get that figured out. So, let's see, what else can we do in the book today? Um, salvage operation, I don't know if we're ready for another salvage operation. Yeah, because this is, um, durability technology infrastructure, you will probably find that you need more power than you can easily generate. Luckily, there is a solution. Of course, you'll have to go hunting for the core components first. The reactor controller needs parts we cannot fabricate with the technology we have available, so we can't build them from scratch. Luckily, the broken controllers you repaired out of available resources, or sorry, you can find in the cities can be repaired out of available resources. Of course, first you have to find one. Power plants seem to be somewhat rare, and a lot of them have suffered reactor meltdowns over the years. Still, they do exist if you are willing to explore far enough. Okay, so that kind of makes me nervous, because I don't particularly want to leave. And, and from the videos that I've seen of other people that went and found the reactors, it's not exactly fun. Uh... Uh, they're usually filled to the brim of blazes. So, I think this episode, while we're waiting on that thing to etch itself, uh, during the day at least, we're probably going to work on the garden here. 
and during the night we will go and work on mob spawn or the mob killing area and that way we get uh, that yeah, yeah. get my mouth to work right that way it will actually help us to prepare to go after those parts but it still gives you guys a little bit of entertainment and I don't have to do so much grind work off camera so um, this. And I'm actually liking how my garden is turning out uh, especially with the sugar cane part it uh, seems to be turning out really, really well. So, um, now probably off camera I will shear all those trees and such. Uh, which is one of the reasons I'm wanting the machine frame. Is so that we can s uh, automate the shearing and gathering of wood. Um, let's see. these over here and drop them in. And with that, that should be all I need. Did that, did it despawn? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Has it been no five minutes? Oh. that other PCB that I made. Okay, doesn't seem to be here. That actually... Here it is. just despawned like that. Okay, let's read the book on those. The pressure. There we go. This side, at this point, you might want to take some time to either manually farm or something. Oh. Uh, so if you drop it in a hole and pour etching acid over it. It takes five minutes to process, though. So you're going to want to pick it up a few times, both to check on the process and to make sure it doesn't despawn. Okay. Been there for a little bit, so what's our process? Oh! Success rate is 30%. Or it's 100%. Pro it's 30% process. Okay, so. I guess this happens a little bit quicker than I thought. Um. So real quick, let me go over here and get a little bit more food, and then we'll run back over there and check on it. Um, so that, so two of these. Oh, I get some grape salads as well. Kind of mix it up. this thing up. And this is 64%. Alright, so drop it back in there. Alright. It's not turning out too bad. Might not be able to do the uh, garden part. So I thought this took like forever. But apparently I was wrong. Oh, so give me a few minutes. We'll get this uh, done and then we'll move on. Alright, we just got it, and I actually watched it pop, and now we have our PCP. So let's do this, last step, really. You will need transistors and capacitors for this step, three of each. Recipes are in NEI, then it is a simple manner of combining those with the unassembled PCB 
and then you are done. Don't worry, there is a better way to do this that will co be covered later. Of course, we need three of each of those little fuse thingies, which we have. And you know what? I'm just going to make another crafting table. So, where do I want to put this? Uh, do, do, do. Oh, we'll just put it right there. And now, this is... Okay, so the black goes here, blue here and here, this here. Alright, now we have that. So now we get another printed circuit board. And plastic sheet. Cool. So, assembling circuit boards, upgraded, tools of the trade. Try tools of the trade. Nomadic Craft has a lot of useful tools and gadgets. While these quests serve as a rough guide, I recommend checking out the Nomadic Craft wiki and perhaps YouTube spotlights for a better and more thorough understanding of this mod. Yeah, I'll probably be doing that between episodes. A lot of nomadic craft gadgets require cha charging with compressed air before they can be used. Do, and I do realize the charging station balances air pressure between the item being charged and the rest of the system. If the tool has more bars of pressure than the rest of the air pressure network, it will actually discharge. Okay, interesting. Uh, upgrades. So we need one of those and a secure. A lot of pneumatic craft machines can have upgrades installed in the lower left of the GUI of each machine. It will list what upgrades applicable and exactly what each upgrade does. Hmm. Range, volume, dispenser, and search. Hmm. The speed upgrades tends to be the most useful. Do know that its recipe requires cake, which requires flour. Well, that's not a problem, I got that. All right, so we need a security upgrade and a speed upgrade. All right, we've already got the speed upgrade, which isn't a problem. Now we need a security. Okay, here it is. Obsidian, lapis, and one of these safety valves. Oh, that's simple. One of these, um, and then we'll need, I think it was beans, so we gotta make that one thing, the pressure gauge, yeah, so that in gold, that wouldn't be a problem at all. Alright, well, hey, it's dark, so let's check out how this mob, uh, grinder works. Okay, so everything gets uh, aggroed over here. And you're just able to start knocking stuff out. And now I do have this closed in up here, which does prevent some of the uh, spawning nearby. Oh, hello zombie with a shovel. Did you drop it? No, of course not. Why would you drop it? You might want to give me something useful for a change. Okay, so as you can see, this works out really, really well. Yeah. If you're wondering how to make these posts, it's the same way I made the uh, panels. That you just use that little saw thing, and it just kind of depends on where exactly you put them. When I put the block in relation to the saw in the cracking. Um, on how it comes out. So you can make posts, you can make slabs, you can make panels, covers, you can make all kinds of stuff. Okay, I'm trying to see if there's another enderman out there, but I'm not seeing one, which really kind of sucks. So I was hoping to get another enderman. Okay. 
Let's just see what sound is. Alright. Well, we'll kill this one zombie and we'll call it good for now. And there we go. Didn't really get anything useful other than the one spider eye, which actually is a good thing. Um, okay, we need to go and refill my camel packs real quick. And... Still no squids, what the heck? I wish I knew a way to get ink sacks without the squids. Okay, uh... Oh yeah, water. Forgot what I was going after for a second. Oh yes, I needed to make that um, that gauge thing. All right, let's see how much gold do we have. Ah, oh, we actually got the gold we need. So we need that combined with an ingot. That, this, and two of these. Okay, where? Where's the zombie? Oh, okay, it's outside the wall. I thought it was right next to me. <laughs> About to hit me. Uh, I should have known better. I've got the whole place lit up. Oh my gosh. Okay, so. Now. Let me just the, the upgrade. Okay, then we need four obsidian. Just. Uh, two, three, and four. Like that, sound like that. Why is the music so loud all of a sudden? Okay, switch that back down to five. And let's see, run over here. And let's see, we got lapis. Yes, we do. We only need four, though. I said four, not five. Dummy. Okay. Run back over here and see if we can get this all assembled. And here we go. And there's our upgrade. Now we should be able to just take the upgrade out of this machine over here and have it count towards the quest. Or maybe not. Uh, da, 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 da. It doesn't say you have to craft them, but it doesn't have them in a cement either. Uh, I don't even know what these machines do. Um, I don't want me to select one either. Okay, so I guess we gotta make the speed upgrade, which of course requires all the other stuff. Oh, you know what? Put this in the wrong thing. It's supposed to go in there. Okay. So let's see if we can go. Make the speed upgrade. Which kind of sucks. Um, yeah, that. Um, I'm not good at potion making. I don't even have a brewing station. How? Oh, I haven't even gotten any uh, blaze rods or anything. So I guess we're going to have to wait on that until we can go scavenging again. Yeah. So I don't have any blaze rods whatsoever. So. Alright, well. Crap! Uh, let's see if we can take our frustration out on some of these guys. Gotcha. Oh, hello, Enderman. Enderman. Come on. Come on, Enderman. 
Ender Pearl. types of Enderman. Pretty much do it. All right. So we got a few more quests done. Um, I know my timer's fixing to go off, but at least we got a few more quests done. Uh, I guess in the next episode we'll have to work on getting going out and scavenging some more to get. Um, get the stuff for the reactor and uh, all the, the, the blaze rods, which ironically are in the same location, so I will look around off camera and see if I can find one of those reactor places, and then I guess in the next episode we'll be doing that. So I hope you guys all enjoyed, and uh, if you did, leave a like and and subscribe if you're new and would like to see more content by me and um, also check out my other series I started a Nancy Drew game series which is actually pretty fun where you gotta solve a murder mystery and it's pretty fun and it's a classic from when I was growing up so I uh, hope you guys all enjoyed have fun and I'll see you in the next episode bye